Hello, investors, and welcome to yet another edition of 18 Minutes with 180 Markets. Have a go. If there's one expression I hear over and over and I have heard since I've been in Australia is that people want somebody who is going to have a go. In the Northern Hemisphere, and I know we have viewers there as well, we call it get in the batter's box. Well, that's why I'm so excited today to be joined by my friend, Dane Lance, again, Managing Director of Grand Gulf Energy, because Dane is on that type of precipice right now, because they are going to be doing imminent sputting for helium in the US in the coming weeks. Dane, I know that's a big introduction, but welcome. Uh, yeah, good to see you, Greg, and thanks for having me again. It's great to be here. Of course. Hey, Dane, for people that don't know who you are, can you just tell us in a couple of minutes about yourself? Yeah, so I'm currently Managing Director of Grand Gulf Energy. Prior to that, I was about 20 years experience in the upstream EMP oil and gas industry. I worked in that time, I worked for Woodside Energy, uh, Ophir Energy and Oil Search. And I initially cut my teeth uh, as a reservoir engineer in the trenches. And I think I think that's really fed through into my mindset about getting the early decisions in a development project right and how valuable that front end loading is. And uh, after that, I moved more into commercial and M&A before moving into this role. Got it. And, you know, speaking or taking your experience to Grand Gulf, uh, you joined the company, I think, about a year, year and a half ago, and, and certainly it's been a transformation and fast forward now we've got a major helium potential project in this in the works can you just talk a little bit about it yeah well it's, it's an exciting project it's really got all the pillars of a great project first first when we're in the right area you know um we're in the saudi arabia of helium as they say one of the most prolific producing helium regions in the world um, there's an amazing regulatory environment there that's very supportive of developments. And we've got a commanding position there of over 29,000 acres. And um, with that, we've got a great analog next door, same geology, producing, prolific producing wells. Uh, and, you know, it shares trap, seal, reservoir and charge. And we're drilling the same formation with that. And we were thrilled to announce the Jesse 1A discovery last year in June, which returned uh, 1% helium, which, which greatly exceeded our pre expectations, but is supportive of our, our upside helium migration modelling. So that's a great plus for the project. And we returned uh, 200 foot of gross column and 101 foot of net pay independently audited. And moving on from that, we're, we're really much in the go phase now where we're ramping up to spud imminently. In fact, most likely over the weekend for Jesse too. Uh, the follow-up well from there. Right. And for those of you that watch this later on, we are filming currently March 9th. Uh, so that'll be up in the next week. Dane, could we just talk about your spudding for helium in arguably the most prolific part of the United States? But not only do you need a great spot and a great project, you need a great team behind you. Can you just talk about the technical team that you have on the ground? Because it really is world-class and I think it's worth highlighting. Yeah, well, we're very lucky to have the technical team that we have on the ground that are right next door to the um, the operations in southeast Utah. They're based in Durango, Colorado. That's Four Corners Helium, who were the project originator and generator. And as you know, there's not many uh, helium explorationists getting around and to ha find and have accessible such a top-notch team that have mapped over 9 million acres across and highlighted the Red Helium project as their preferred project from all that work. And, you know, they've got a combined 100 years of geological experience there. They really are an asset to have to the team. And then on top of that, uh, we were thrilled to announce shortly after the permit was granted in 5th January this year that Todd Gentles joined the team as our drilling manager and he's an absolute asset. He's drilled the fields next door for Kinder Morgan, which are McElmo Dome, Cow Canyon and Doe Canyon, which once again are totally analogous in terms of geology, trap, seal, reservoir, charge. And he spent 15 years and he knows how to drill these wells. And he's got a great support network of development folk over there as well. Right. And, you know, going back, as you said, you've had 20 years experience, Woodside and so forth and so on. 
having those right technical people in place like Todd, how important is it to a project's success? Uh, it's basically everything. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, as, as, as I mentioned before, it's all about front end loading. You know, we, we need to get the early decisions right to deliver a safe and successful Jesse too. Um, not only do we have the technical experience, I think between the technical location and the connections of the Four Corners team and Todd having worked in the area for over 15 years, we're also connected into the right regional operators and the right technical support staff. So we know we're getting going out and getting the best contractors that can deliver on this project. And that really are crit critical to delivering on this project. Right. And also, along with that, what I think is incredibly interesting is a lot of projects, they take years and years to potentially generate revenue. But in the case for you, that's not the case. Because assuming success, can you just talk about the, your offtake agreement, who's in the area, and that pathway to revenue? Because it is a fairly short. Yeah, it is. And, and you know, from project acquisition to discovery was less than 12 months as well. So we're committed, given all the technical basis is there and is correct and uh, correctly done, we're committed to aggressively monetizing the project. And with that in mind, you touched on one of the key pieces that really makes this project, because we all know the development cycle in oil and gas can be long. Uh, multiple years Tell me about it. and with that becomes risks and schedule slippages and changes in all sorts of things be it sovereign risk geopolitical environments and approvals so one of the real key pieces of this project is uh, the commercialization phase so to start with we have an unutilized pipeline running directly through the red helium project ami or area of mutual interest and in fact the jesse too well is being drilled immediately adjacent to that pipeline. Now that pipeline is connected to the Lisbon Valley Helium Processing Plant, which is a state-of-the-art helium processing plant, which can liquefy helium, which can really give you that high-grade uh, helium, which, which allows you to access those price multipliers for the, uh, it's a five and a half nines plant, so 99.995% helium. And we, we currently have an off-taking agreement in place that covers Jesse 2, um, and that's with Paradox Resources. And, you know, Paradox really is a proven helium processor and refiner with deep experience in helium processing and, uh, and deep marketing experience as well. And so with all those key pillars of the commercialization in the project in place, we can potentially move from, uh, you know, from discovery, commercial well to production in as little as six months. So it's quite an amazing time frame. And you know, th the offtake agreement we see it as one validation of the technical merits of the Red Helium project, but it, it also speaks to the current supply de demand gap in the helium markets, where we we have one of the most acute. Uh, helium supplies the world has ever seen. It's currently dubbed helium shortage V4.0. Okay. To your nomenclature. And, you know, the 4.0 shows how fragile the supply side is on the helium market. And that acute helium shortage is really leading to extreme price pressure. So it's really a great time to be drilling a helium exploration well on what's quite a major resource project. You know, we're talking about a very large resource of helium here that we're drilling for uh, and drilling in the right market conditions with the ability to near immediately monetize that and generate near-term free cash flow that they can then go to organically accelerating a greater field development. I like to think of it as a bit of a two-pronged attack. We've got that real near-term monetization, but right. there's a much bigger asset play that we should be thinking about when we consider the scale and the resource of the Red Helium project. Right. But as you said, you know, it's a two pronged approach and which is what is great is that sometimes, as you said, it can take years and years to monetize or potentially monetize a project. And along with that length of time, it's also fraught with risk, whereas you can head off that, I suppose, with paradox a little bit. Is that how you see it as well? 
Yeah, I, you know, I see it as just a great story in many ways. The the ability to immediately monetize gives you the ability, as I said, to organically and accelerate the development. Uh, we know the market's hot now. It it has been, you know, it's interesting that the supply deficit has been so bad that the market is really decoupled from these greater commodity cycles that we see quite often. So we are in a bull helium market, but that ability to, you know, capitalize in a short time time frame does remove some of those greater development and market risks that we see in other projects. Right, for sure. And Paradox, I'm sure that they're seeing what we're seeing from other trade, from other offtake groups, which is right here, right now, certainly insatiable demand. Again, coming back to people, you have Paradox on the offtake side, you have Todd on the technical side. I, I really, again, want to highlight that chance of success goes up dramatically by having all those pieces in place. Is this the work that you've been doing behind the scenes kind of since you really have, have joined the group, joined Grand Gulf? Yeah, there's been a lot of work going on from behind the scenes and it's definitely not just me, you know. I, I'm sort of putting the right people together and I believe we have the right team at the moment. And there's a lot of very smart people that have done a lot of hard work to get us where we are today to be going back out into the field with a well that we're believe in and we're ready to drill. Um, and, you know, with that, you mentioned risk. Uh, any any resource project has risks. I, I would have seen the Red Helium project as, as reasonably low risk speaking in that, you know, we'd, based on vintage wells and a good seismic data set, we'd already proved up essentially trap, seal, uh, reservoir presence and gas charge. It really came down to reservoir deliverability and uh, helium concentration. And we got some great indications on that from the initial work on Jesse 1A. So with that low risk, and when you consider the size of the prize that we're talking sure. about here, I really see us as above the standard sort of risk reward curve when you consider the upside of the project. Yeah, and, and as we think about it here at 180 as an investor is the probability adjusted risk reward is incredible because your market cap, I think, is cir sitting circa around $40 million right now. And the potential where the helium market is, the potential size of the resource, uh, it, it's unbelievable the difference, isn't it? I mean, one, a couple of ways to look at it, just to put it put it in perspective, is we're drilling for a 10.9 billion cubic foot P50 gross perspective res resource in the Red Helium Project. You can compare that to the annual global helium market, uh, which is around six BCF. So we're almost two times what is a multi-billion dollar market. And then, um, you know, if you want to go to any of our investor presentation and stuff, there's there's a bit of information on the analogous wells. And it's not hard to look at the, the helium rates versus the helium prices and see that these really, these wells are prolific and really deliver a potentially material revenue stream. Absolutely. Hey, Dean, timing. Now is the time. Can you just take us through what investors should be looking for over call the next 60 days? Yeah, so it really is an exciting time. And, and not just that, it's an exciting well as well that we've put together um, in terms of delivery. So uh, as I said, we're spudding uh, on the 12th of March currently, which was announced in the last ASX announcement. We see the, uh, the drilling of the well being a, a little bit over a month. And the last week of that month, uh, we're going to be going into the reservoir and we're going to be drilling under balance, which essentially means that the fluids in the well bore are at a lower pressure than the fluids in the reservoir. And this means that the fluids can naturally flow into the well bore. And similarly, we will have a production separator set up on the well. So we're set up to essentially immediately flow test the reservoir while we're drilling. And similar to that, we'll have real-time mass spectrometry, which measures the, the compositions of your gas. So we will have real-time gas analysis of our produced gas stream, giving us that helium concentration, which really is our key metric that we're looking for. And as I said, we had a great indication with the first well where we hit the 1% which was um, you know, above pre-drill expectation when we were working on the field next door, Doe Canyon, which is around 0.5 to point, yeah, around 0 0.4 to 0.5%. Um, but as I said, that that sort of agrees with our internal upside helium charge modeling. So so there is some optimism there as well. Great. 
And, and Dave, so the next month, obviously, incredibly exciting. Uh, one last point on it. Any weather issues that we should worry about at this time or that are foreseeable? Oh, just, just coming back to add to that point as well, because you are 60 days. I mean, yeah. it's, it's going to be another great, uh, it's another great element of the project in that in the event of commercial gas flow test, uh, we'll be moving very quickly into that development phase. And, you know, we've already done the pre-feed work in terms of those minimal uh, facilities that we need to tie into the pipeline there. But that process, even within the 60 days you're talking about, there'll be multiple near-term near catalysts in terms of announcement and development planning uh, going forward. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so coming back to your question on the weather. Uh, you're a weatherman think, now. <laughs> yeah. I'm definitely not. Um, though I do check the wind and surf very often. So, but no, that said, I we're going to be a few days behind when that this goes to air. But we had the pre-spud meeting this morning in terms of rigging up for the weekend. Uh, the rig will begin mobilisation tomorrow, and based on that pre-spud meeting, that's the key element: is to get the rig and the kit up there. Everything's looking good for the for the next at least foreseeable future. Uh, I've got a wood desk here. I'll touch it, but um, this is the weather. But yeah, we're all greenlit at the moment. Excellent. Hey, Dane, again, you know, incredibly exciting times. Thank you so much for talking to our audience. Uh, are there any closing remarks you have before we go? Just really, just to summarize the project, you know, I think it's an exciting project. We've got a really large resource. Um, it's relatively speaking, low risk. Uh, we're going out this month. There's multiple near-term catalysts there. Uh, we have all the pillars in terms of, you know, we have the helium grade that we that we need, a commercial helium grade. Right. Uh, we have the pipeline. We have the offtake agreement. Um, you know, we're ready to go. The size of the project opens up a lot of interesting areas in terms of accessing that uh, liquefied helium price multiplier and locking in large volume uh, high value contracts as well so it really is an exciting time for their companies for the company and our shareholders and uh yeah we're looking forward to it thanks dane we will definitely be watching imminently okay thanks a lot greg you have a great day and you same too. to everyone out there thanks for watching another episode of 18 minutes with 1a markets and don't forget if you want access to thousands of capital raises Sign up at 180markets.com.au and you'll get access to our very next capital raise. Thanks for watching.